Karima Baloch being a, a Baloch woman, being a Baloch student, uh, uh, human rights activist, political activist, she came to Canada to save her life from the Pakistani forces. Her dead body was uh, seen in a very mysterious way in a lake. Why the uh, Canadian police is not telling the uh, real story what had happened to Karima Baloch. From her killing, only one state that could be benefited, that state of Pakistan. Canadian uh, uh, security forces, Canadian police, Canadian government is also, uh, you know, unfortunately is trying to hide the facts. Unfortunately, the mysterious death, this sort of, you know, mysterious death we, Baloch, are facing even in Europe, in Canada uh, and other parts of the world. We are political activists, human rights activists. They, uh, we used to come uh, from Baluchistan to save our life. Karima Baloch, being a, a Baloch woman, being a Baloch student, uh, uh, human rights activist, political activist, she came to Canada to save her life from the Pakistani forces. And she, uh, you know, uh, live, while living in Canada, she raised her voice for uh, the people of Pakistan against the abuses uh, of the fundamental rights of the Baloch people by the Pakistani forces, against the military operations of the Pakistani army, which uh, her forces are doing work back uh, in Pakistan uh, through uh, her military. So she also uh, has been over here with us at uh, United Nations in Geneva. So she was a prominent Baloch political and human rights activist. Unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, a news came that her dead body was uh, seen in a very mysterious way uh, in a lake. And this is what we had earlier also got same sort of news in Sweden that uh, Sajid Hussain Baloch, a Baloch journalist, his dead body was also seen in such a mysterious uh, way. His body was found in the same way in a lake and he was uh, uh, dead. Uh, when we got the news of Karima Baloch, uh, I myself, you know, my organization uh, organized a protest in Paris uh, in, uh, in front of the Canadian embassy. There we raised this issue that we asked Canadian authorities that it's her uh, moral obligation. This is her constitutional obligation that they should investigate the case of uh, Karima Baloch why, how, and under what circumstances and under uh, which environment, you know, uh, 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 she was killed and why her uh, dead body was found in such a mysterious way. Uh, we submitted a document to the Canadian embassy and, and they said that we will contact our government and we will reply you as soon as possible. Unfortunately, approximately three years passed till now, we have not received any information from the Canadian authorities. Uh, when uh, Karima was, you know, uh, eliminated and after that we saw a statement by the police authorities uh, uh, th that uh, there's a no, you know, uh, uh, wrongdoing uh, in the case of her death. But unfortunately, uh, from that statement, neither the family member of Karima Baloch, nor the Baloch people, nor we the human rights uh, activists, including the non-Baloch uh, organizations and representatives and they showed their concern that how it is possible and what were the circumstances behind that 
uh, uh, why the uh, Canadian authorities, why the uh, Canadian police is not telling the uh, real story what had happened to Karima Baloch. Uh, uh, so still we are, you know, looking at the Canadian authorities. Still, you know, uh, we plea to the Canadian authorities and from this pl platform, through your organization, I want to send a message to the Canadian authorities, to the Canadian government and particularly to the Prime Minister of Canada that we, Baloch, are looking in, uh, to your organization and we are, uh, you know, uh, asking you, please do reinvestigate the case of Karima Baloch and whatever facts you, your organizations, your authorities, your police has, please publish that and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, give us under what circumstances uh, she was killed and who were behind that killing. And it's an obvious fact that uh, from her killing, only one state that could be benefited, that is the state of Pakistan. And we, uh, the Baloch people, we as an organization, we have our, a lot of, you know, evidences that in such sort of cases, there's the Pakistani uh, uh, the secret services that's called ISI, and she's very much notorious, and she has a lot of experience with respect to this. And there are many cases and incidents that uh, Pakistani security forces, ISI, has done this sort of, uh, you know, killings where, you know, the, their hands are... Uh, 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 masked. So in her case, and we uh, are of the view that Pakistani security forces, ISI was behind the killing of Karima Baloch and unfortunately, unfortunately, and this is the thought that the Baloch people at large are, you know, analyzing this fact by this way, that uh, Canadian uh, uh, security forces, Canadian police, Canadian government is also, uh, you know, unfortunately is trying to hide the facts. And this is a, is a, a big crime against humanity that if any organization, if any authority and even if any individ individual is, you know, or trying to hide the uh, facts of the killing of, a, uh, uh, of any human being and particularly of a, a woman and particularly of a human rights activist. So that's a crime against humanity. So we request through your organization again and again to the Canadian authorities. So please come forward. Please uh, investigate properly the Karima's uh, mysterious death and uh, unfold those who were behind that killing.